The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who followed the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning to everyone on this, the memorial of saints Cornelius and Cyprian. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing." If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, love is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly, as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully, as I am fully known." So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Mm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance, May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. 
Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, good morning to everyone on this, the memorial of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, great martyrs of the ancient church, and they gave their lives over in witness to the Lord, to their faith, out of love. And we have this um, wonderful text from 1 Corinthians, this hymn to love, and we're familiar with this text. It's so central to our religion as Catholics, highlighting the supreme importance of love in our lives. And what does that love look like concretely in our relationships with one another? Uh, I think um, another way to look at this notion of love, um, love is a choice. So we use our freedom to choose another before we choose ourselves. Um, so love is a choice, and that's why in the responsorial psalm, we prayed, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. And it's true, the Lord loves us as a people, as a church. The Lord loves us as individuals. And that means that he chooses us. And that's beautiful just to know, just to rest in that knowledge that the Lord has chosen us. As individuals, he delights in us as a people. And um, it's helpful for us uh, in thinking how we relate to other people um, in our lives. Um, if we can, again, choose them before ourselves. I had this beautiful conversation with Anna, who is now on staff here at Christ the King. And I was singing the praises of her husband. She just got married to Phil just, um, just a few weeks ago. And I said, Anna, wow, Phil, he's really a great guy. You chose a really good husband. And she was kind of taken back and um, started to blush a little bit and said, Father, Phil chose me. And you, you could see how, um, how much joy that brought her, knowing that Phil um, loved her, loves her, and, and he chooses her. Um, not just when they got engaged, not just when they got married, um, but every single day, that's what married love is. When spouses choose each other, day in and day out, through thick and thin. Maybe just one more, um, one more perspective on this idea of love and how important it is in our, in our faith. Um, as Catholics, we profess a, pref a preferential option for the poor. That means we're called to choose the poor, to make them our preference. We prefer them. That means um, as Catholics, we love the poor. Um, that we, we choose them before ourselves in, in serving them and lifting them up and accompanying them. Um, this, is, uh, this is it. We have the, the conviction that every day when we wake up, we, we choose those who are less fortunate 
above um, ourselves, before ourselves. So whatever, I mean, whatever dynamic um, we're talking about in our lives as Christians, um, whether it's in marriage or if it's our service to the marginalized or whatever, um, it all goes back to the fact that we were chosen, that we are loved. Um, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Because we've been chosen, we've been loved, we can choose others before ourselves. Let's stand now and offer our prayers of petition to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the church, may the Lord increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who govern, may the spirit of wisdom guide them in their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Mm. For all families who are facing brokenness and discord, may the Lord strengthen them in their commitment to love one another through times of joy and challenge. Let us pray to the Lord. Mm. For our community of faith here at Christ the King, for Catholics throughout our diocese, may the Lord continue to draw us into greater communion with each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Mm. For our beloved departed, may Saints Cornelius and Cyprian and all the angels, saints, and martyrs greet them with our Lord in his kingdom. We pray in a special way for Mary Fitzsimmons for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord mm, for the intentions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. mm, Loving and eternal Father, hear and answer these prayers we have brought before you. We make all of our prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. By the mysteries. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us, too, steadfast in all trials. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. 
together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise where they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing remember also lord your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, 
not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Worthy. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. For those praying at home, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.